Hello and welcome to part three of my 2018-19 Bundesliga jersey review. Um, again, I'm wearing my Germany 2006 shirt with all the flags of the participating countries on the back. Unfortunately, it's already falling apart, so I'm not wearing it that often, but fits very well for this video as it's the most German thing, soccer-wise, that I own. Let's get right to it. We're looking now at the next couple of teams and we'll start with, we ended the last one with Hoffenheim. Now we look at the other ugly sepsis the, in Leipzig. The, now the main Red Bull team after they ditched Salzburg a little bit or made Salzburg kind of the farm team for Leipzig, but it's not that easy for them to do so. Well, it is a classic Red Bull kit. Uh, Nothing exciting. You have the Red Bull sponsor. You have, of course, the same thing in the crest. I really don't like that crest. Um, I never understood why it has to be white and with red accents and then a little bit of yellow. I mean, it fits with the logo on the front. But if you buy a Red Bull can, it's silver and blue. However, there's one interesting thing. Um, the color, the neckline, I don't like because it is, again, this faux uh, shirt priesty color. But you see these red lines and this is something I would have liked to at least have seen for an England jersey. Not that it makes it bad, it would have made the England jersey better. But I would have liked to see how the England jersey looks with something like that. Uh, it's an interesting accent. And here on the back you can see it even more. It's really, it's not exactly this zigzag pattern that they have all over on the Nike World Cup kits. But it's interesting and I think that's the biggest feature. The taping looks out of, out of place, although this is probably the liquid, the Red Bull liquid. As far as Red Bull jerseys go, this is probably as good as it gets, so I give it a 7. The away jersey though, yeah, this is a little pushing it. Again, a navy jersey that I don't like and it's hard to achieve that. Uh, I don't like the lighter blue sleeves. And yeah, the swoosh is connecting well. Also on the back, the yellow taping and the yellow numbers presumably that are on there will connect well. But the sleeves and the color, just something doesn't connect here with me. I just gonna give this a six. Yep, I think this is a six. Okay. On we move again. I want to run through this jersey a little bit faster than I used for the other leagues, uh, just to save some time. Mind is the next one. And actually, this is a Lotto kit. It's very similar, uh, a similar template to what we saw in Hoffenheim, uh, which is uh, close to Mind. But this one I like a lot. Uh, even the vertical striping, the simplicity. Yeah, the color is a copy of Nike in a way. But this one is probably the best Lotto kit that we, one of the best we've seen so far. Also, I like the sponsor. This is not, they will only wear, uh, wear this in the first uh, game. Unser Traum lebt. Our dream is alive. I really love this one. Um, I'm going to give this a full eight stars uh, because the vertical striping adds just this special something. However, the Awake is very similar to the Bayern one. I mean, full color crest and then everything else is black and light blue. And also this weird, not straight, but yeah, I mean, connects with the Lotto logo maybe a little bit. Nah, just for the color alone, this is a three star. Much better is the third jersey, which adds a little camouflage pattern, something on the bottom. Uh, and I wish there was a little bit more red, but you know, even with the white, it looks nice. Um, yeah, this is, I think this is a solid six star kit. So. We're done with Mainz and now we're gonna go to one of the bigger teams, at least in the 70s. Borussia Mönchengladbach, a team that many non-German speakers have a hard time to pronounce. Um, just say Gladbach. The home jersey, yeah, this is a Gladbach jersey, but it's way too simple. I actually liked it when they had this striping pattern with the black and the green alternating uh, stripes, but this one is just white with a little bit green. A little bit more 80s, 90s Gladbach than 70s Gladbach when they had the best time, when they even made it to the European Cup final. It was always Bayern or Gladbach in, in those days, and you see Gladbach has the two stars, which means they have 
at least five championships. I also don't like that the collar is kind of stopped, then there's a little bit of white gap, and then you have the form strap, and then the same thing continues on the back. Uh, the back also says below the collar, the Fallen, the Falls, uh, which is their nickname because in the 70s they had a, a young team, Bertie Forbes, Günther Netzer, Haki Wimmer, you know, uh, they made half of the 72, 74. German is called, of course, the other one was from Bayern. And I don't really like the sponsor being in yellow on there. Although, yeah, if you have the postal bank, it gotta be in yellow. Uh, yeah, yeah. It looks clean, but there's something missing for me, so I'm just gonna give the six stars. The Avea jersey is a lot more interesting. It has this headed pattern. I don't like the collar and I don't like it. this green stripe here, but it's more interesting. Of course, the yellow sponsor, way out of line here. Uh, yeah, I think I'm also gonna say six. Uh, for everything that's good with this headed pattern, uh, the weird green striping and the sponsor drop it down again. So yeah, it doesn't really improve on the home jersey. And I have a third jersey that uh, it reminds me a lot about the Marseille jersey. This is actually the nicest one. Again, yellow sponsor. But I'm gonna give this eight. And you know, note that they have the black band around the sleeves, but it doesn't continue across the chest. And then you have this C. This looked a lot better on Marseille than here because uh, Gladbach is so far away from any body, major body of water uh, that it's not quite fitting, in my opinion. Well, and then we go to the last time one for today, Nuremberg. And I'm so happy that the club is back. Yes, the nickname is their club, which means the club. Uh, highly traditional team. They have, uh, if you count all the German championships, only Bayern Munich has more, but the problem is they all were won in the 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, and not during the Bundesliga. They only have one Bundesliga title, where oddly enough, the next season they got relegated because uh, it was such a hard fought title. Uh, a little bit too dark for a classic Nuremberg kit. I would like to see a little bit of a lighter red, but I like that they have the black accents. I even like the diagonal striping. I mean, it's an Umbro kit. A little bit too little black on the sleeves, but you know, you have the diamonds there. But what I really like is the sponsor is the local sponsor. Nuremberger Versicherung is an insurance company from Nuremberg itself, Nuremberg. And you have a little bit um, cityscape in the logo. That I really like. I've been in Nuremberg uh, just a few weeks ago. A uh, really nice town downtown. Although large portions were destroyed in the World War II, um, there are still some nice buildings to see in the castle. I'm gonna go seven here. Uh, make it lighter and we are even talking much higher rating. Um, the away jersey unfortunately is a little bit too crazy with uh, there's too much going on. Um, they are trying and then the insurance, the sponsor doesn't fit in blue. I'm sorry, as much as I would love to like this, this is just a four star jersey. Well, yeah, the color is also weird. Yeah, it's just four stars. Well, that again concludes part three. Let me know how you like these jerseys, whether you agree or disagree with me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, if you want to get updated on regular videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time.